The idea kind of came to me when I was at the a local food festival earlier this year and I was actually placed beside the Publican House Brewery booth. It got me thinking about pigs and mash and it's not something that you know hasn't been done before but it's a really cool idea. George contacted me a couple months later and said I have this litter of pigs there's a local farmer uh, you know what about using the spent square nail mash so it was win-win-win with Mike Bohm from Hawthorne Ridge getting involved and it, it was a great opportunity to partner together to create a unique new product and we're all excited about it. George talked to me about this and said, you know, we're kind of thinking of this and, uh, you know, would you be interested? And gosh, we were right away, we said, we're in. I didn't know anyone else that was raising large English blacks in general. I've never come across a farmer that was raising them. And they're a unique, a unique breed. They're highly marbled. They have a good fat back to them and they're really long in the belly. So you get nice bacon really so which is what everybody seems to love it was the perfect the perfect breed i thought to introduce with this project what we do here as far as raising the pigs we uh well the uh the mash is uh, about a quarter of the feed that they get so we feed in the morning and then we feed at night and uh, then we also supplement their feed with uh, whatever vegetables and uh, fruits uh, that we get. Apples are a fair, uh, fair chunk of their diet. The other thing with these, this particular breed of pig, they do like to eat grass. So they do get, when they're outside, they're eating grass and uh, other kinds of vegetation. And uh, so they try to get a really nice mixed, mixed diet. The beer? Well, the beer is fantastic, for one. Uh, the, the pale ale is, uh, it's a really hoppy beer. It, it has given the meat a, a, a different sort of texture and tenderness, and the same with the fat. Like, the fat doesn't have this kind of a chew to it. It's almost just like a butter, and uh, it's, it's pretty fantastic. Yeah, we're a craft brewery in downtown Peterborough. We make seven or eight different styles of beer. Two we make all year, uh, our house ale and our square nail pale ale. It's a hot West Coast style beer, it's hoppy, it's got some bitterness to it, it's like an IPA. It's all fresh, it's all natural, no preservatives in any of our beer. So we're proud of what we, what we put out on the market. The brewing process starts with the, uh, the mill. Basically we use our, our grains, they get crushed up fine, the, the husk gets broken open, it gets passed into the mash and lauder ton, and at that point you're basically making oatmeal. So you're trying to get, extract all the sugar out of the grains that you can. And Actually, that's the unit you see behind. There's a perforated floor, the sugar water drops to the bottom. So what's left is the spent grain. The spent grain gets shoveled out. Uh, we wheelbarrow it out to the back of the brewery and, and we have Mike Bohm from Hawthorne Ridge getting involved and the local farmer pick it up for his livestock. We're raising these pigs like completely natural. So you get away from tail docking and teeth clipping and castrating and, you know, sow stalls, gestation pens, which is, all part of factory farming is what we're trying to get away from. So it's getting back to raising animals the way that they should be raised. This is a really wonderful opportunity to try some of the things that over the years we've been looking at going, if I was gonna do it, this is the way I wanna do it. Yeah. It's kind of our tagline, heritage bred, naturally fed and humanely raised. So those are the three things that we're focusing on. I, I think it's important for folks to know that we give them the best possible uh, you know, life that they, they can. If you want to go with happy pigs or happy cattle, that's kind of what we try to do. We're ultimately trying to change the flavor profile of the pig. Like, um, with introducing the, the brewer's mash from a specific brew every time into the diet, up to about 25% of their diet, we're hoping for, you know, different flavor profiles in the fat and, and in the meat as well. So this is our loin section here. And the beautiful thing about this is all of this really nice soft fat, um, which is gonna have the flavor profile that we're hoping for from the mash of the, uh, of the square nail pale ale. Very nice, generous marbling for the size of the animal. And the meat looks really, really nice and tender. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be fantastic chops. I find Working with small farmers, you get a lot more care with raising the animals rather than it being just a production process to feed the masses. So it, it, it comes through in the quality of, of the product for sure. You know. That looks wicked. Look at the fat on it. The fat's awesome. 
It's super soft too, eh? Certainly we undertook this as an experiment and we were really interested to see whether feeding the mash would actually change the, the flavor profile and whether it would be a, a good supplement to the feed that we are already using and, and it certainly seems that it has achieved those goals and we have a very specific product that's really quite delicious. It, it was a great opportunity to sink our teeth into something, create something new, and, and at the end of the day have three local businesses partner together to create a unique new product, and we're all excited about it. I, I see us continuing with this project. Um, it's, it's had great reviews, um, huge feedback, all positive. Um, I think this is a project that is just getting started and will continue for sure.